Hello everyone, welcome to the introductory video for Assistant on Planner Foundation course by KP Gate classes. In this video, we will look into the details of what is the content and what are the basis of the subjects which we are going to study as a part of this foundation course for assistant town planner preparation of various government agencies across the country and how we at KP Gate classes will help you in this preparation and what are the good quality resources which we are going to provide you with and what is the approach you need to have in the preparation that's what we're going to focus as a part of this particular introductory session of this foundation course of assistant town planners uh, preparation uh, classes so uh, as far as the details of this particular course you mainly have three types of resources the first one and the most important the primary resource is the video lectures which is a compilation of uh, all the topics which are generally a part of the upcoming examinations for town planner posts uh, so you have a video uh, uh, the, the lectures are designed in such a way that you even if you are at zero level with respect to a subject even in that case you will be able to understand it because every subject our faculty team teaches in such a way that you can learn a topic if you take up a subject as for example urban planning it starts right away from the basics including some important guidelines which you have to remember with respect to URD PFI, some important guidelines which you have to remember with respect to the terminology of census starts from that basic approach till advanced concept take concepts taking you through the details of various individual theories of urban planning with a focus on practice in the lectures by practicing some past gate past questions be it from gate or other competitive examinations of planning so the video lectures are designed in such a way that it will be helpful for you for the town planner requirement examination that's number one the video lectures com coming to the content of the video lectures secondly uh, these examinations generally for town planner you don't have a lot of numerical content as such directly asked in the examination because majority of these requirement examinations for the assistant town planner post they are conducted uh, without a scientific calculator unlike other exams like for instance gate numerical part and solving a lot of numericals is important but for these examinations of town planner for various public service commission the approach is a bit different you should be more strong you should be very confident on your basic concepts the theoretical part and various theories and also remember things so when you have a systematic study approach subject wise you will automatically remember all that information because when it comes to theory it is a ocean of content now synthesizing it in a way that it is useful for the examination is important in this case and that's where our faculty team will be helpful for you so we have designed video lectures dedicated particularly for the assistant town planner requirement examinations in various government agencies across the country by considering various past syllabus and question paper and it is designed in such a way that you can retain such a huge ocean of information in a systematic manner with a systematic study approach so that's with respect to the video lectures now this video lecture is not just random compilation of 100 odd lectures it is categorized into folders subject wise it is divided subject wise and your approach should always be a subject wise approach you study a subject in the lectures then you need to it's not like you'll watch all the lectures then go to the second step your approach also so this will be helpful in planning out your study too so when you're planning out your study you should first watch the video lectures of a particular subject then go to the second step that is read the study material of that subject so all the subjects which are included as a part of the video lectures majority of them you'll also find it in the test study material the set of books which are included in the course if you have opted for the hard copy study material the books would be dispatched to you and you can read from the books directly or if you have opted for the online study material the books are accessible to you on the kp gate classes mobile app 24 7 you can access it on the app and study through the digital books or the study material uh, for that particular lecture then comes the third step practicing the questions of that particular subject so every subject also has a dedicated test series topic wise test is included in the test series so you can practice those questions not to know how much you uh, score in it but mainly to analyze where you're going wrong what else is your weak area and where else you need to put in efforts for the further study so this will be very helpful in planning out your revision furthermore so this is a three-step approach which you need to follow for any competitive exam preparation and based on that study approach itself we have designed this content in such a way that it will be useful for you at every step not just because uh, when you're preparing for a competitive examinations we as teachers will not be just involved in teaching you the lectures no you also need additional good quality resources including study material and test series and that's a part of this course already and across this process of lectures study material and test series at every step any query or doubt you have any confusion you're having 
something which is not clear, something you are unable to answer, we as a faculty team of KPG classes will always be accessible to you once you enroll into the course. There are, uh, there, there are, uh, there's a dedicated contact number where you can put in your doubts and you'll get a response from the faculty. So you, we'll always be accessible for you for clarifying your doubts and helping you through the course of your preparation for the upcoming town planner posts or upcoming town planner examinations. So that's with respect to the content you have as a part of the course. Now coming to the course structure, uh, as you are aware, various government agencies, they conduct town planner examinations. Like for instance, uh, recently in the year 2025 itself, SIDCO has announced a good number of opportunities for town planners uh, uh, in, for requirements and there are many agencies including Odisha Public Service Commission which is expected to release <coughs> which is expected to again uh, recruit around 10 odd uh, town planners too so there are various agencies and the syllabus slightly varies uh, uh, across from state to state however the good thing is a majority portion of the syllabus is in most cases there are always exceptions but in most cases you find a trend and you find an overall uh, overlapping area which you can always prepare irrespective of there's an official notification or not. A huge number of students are connected with us uh, and ultimately who do well by clearing these examinations. So those who are always connected with us in the course of the preparation irrespective of bef even before the official notice. So you can always uh, start using these resources. Uh, you can use it for across a year, one year of time. That will be useful for your upcoming next four or five years for any government examination in general. So uh, coming to the course structure, it is designed by a subject matter experts by putting in a huge uh, amount of effort into analyzing the official syllabus and past papers of various government requirements of last five years and having a thorough analysis, studying the subject, so understanding, going through the recent requirement patterns in which are those agencies which generally require town planners, then going through the syllabus analysis and the question paper analysis, past question paper analysis of those particular requirement tests. Based on these uh, analysis, We've come up with a foundation code structure. The code structure for this foundation course was based on this detailed analysis of all the topics. So ultimately, the final outcome which we have expected out of this exercise is to find out those subjects which everyone being preparing for town planner examinations needs to know and needs to study. So based on this, we've created a course curriculum wherein you will have the lectures for various subjects. So best way is always a subject wise approach it's not just randomly practicing question papers or not just randomly studying any lecture which comes in front of you something like on youtube but a proper structured preparation is important for competitive examinations and that's where we bring in to you the set of subjects so in each subject there will be few lectures some lengthy subjects like for example planning technique management is a very vast subject in itself so there are 15 odd lectures as a part of that particular there can be an increased number of lectures as a part of that particular subject there can be some minor subjects like solid waste management probably one or two lectures you will have because it's not a vast subject like something like planning technique management not only in terms of vastness of the overall subject because um, any subject you take there can be content and theory related to it which in itself is an ocean but when it comes to the importance in the context of town planner examinations accordingly the subject has been analyzed and the content has been provided in every subject so you have a set of subjects approximately around 12 odd subjects which include environment this is, this, is a, this is a separate subject water supply then you have sewage treatment solid waste management so these are basically services portion you can say then you have uh, a project management which project management and professional practice are also included as a part of the examination generally so that's included then you have urban planning and housing which are core urban planning subjects then you have planning technique management which is a slightly advanced topic of urban planning then you have transportation landscape urban design and geology also which is included as a part of the course in many instances like in UPPSC it was a part of the syllabus so we did include or uh, add on so uh, in the course of time sometimes we do try to include the database but then this particular preparation would be or should be helpful for you for majority of the syllabus of the upcoming town planner posts and that's how this course was designed other than so this is just the technical part there are non-technical portions also in many examinations many requirement tests which non-technical as in part which is not directly related to planning or basics of architecture it is based on topics like quantitative aptitude simple math then reasoning based questions are also a part of examination so there's a separate lecture series so the, all these are also included in the lectures and other than that for mains, various state level public service commission examinations 
general studies also as a part of the syllabus however the general studies lectures which we have as a part of this course are india specific general studies state some states also have state specific general studies also like for example in uppsc exams uttar pradesh history and geography is also included probably so such state level content is not included as a part of the course uh, so however you will have india specific general studies of geography history polity environment ecology all these are included as a part of the course because general studies is a part of most of the examinations now the course structure of the lectures are designed in such a way that it will be helpful for you for most of the public service commission examinations of assistant town planner however based on the exam for which you are preparing you need to understand the syllabus of your upcoming examination accordingly you might need to study one or two additional subjects other than these what we have listed over here and you might skip some or some uh, two or three uh, subjects from what are listed on the in the course so that is something which you need to have a uh, in effort from your end as well however this is the overall lecture plan the lectures for which are included as a part of this overall course and as i said it's not just the lectures you will have access to the set of study material which include most of the topics which are a part of your lecture series uh, including urban planning housing environmental studies services and infrastructure and services you have water supply sewage treatment solid waste management all that is included in the services part you have a separate book for quant and reasoning as well so you have access to the study material which you can use in addition to the lectures you can read the content from it and finally comes the test series wherein you have topic wise tests and also some access to past papers uh, including some past gate papers now past in many competitive exams there are instances of direct past gate questions being asked also that doesn't mean you should just practice the gate papers but that the theoretical questions of gate examination also can be an important tool for your preparation which will be included as a part of it so these past papers and test series is designed in such a way that you can attempt the test come back to it later on and review it so you can you you can attempt it once but you can review it multiple number of times whenever you have time you can come back uh, see where you're going wrong if something is wrong read the explanation and understanding understand it why are you going wrong in that particular question so it will be a uh, 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 if it's it's a, it's designed in such a way and the interface is developed in such a way that it will be a major tool in improving your score for the upcoming examinations there are separate set of tests for the quant and reasoning as well where practice becomes the primary important source of preparation so for quant and reasoning part how much ever you go through the lectures and the book even after that the most important should be practice so for that practice good quality questions of so quant and reasoning are also included as a part of this course so this will give you a comprehensive preparation of the upcoming town planner examinations whichever government agency is conducting it so uh that's with respect to it and lastly let me also tell you that if there is a good number of uh, positions of vacancies in a particular uh, public service commission and and uh, there there's a good chance that we at kp gate classes also have a dedicated course for it but that is only when an official notification comes so when there's an official notification if you're already a part of this course and if there's an official notification and we are conducting classes for it there is a scope of extending your course so there are there are extension uh, 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 charges which are provided for 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 all those details of how what is the scope of extension uh how to get that extension from this course to an overall upcoming uh, uh live classes course which we are conducting all these details you can reach out to us the contact number is provided in the description of the course of uh, the course uh, details of this particular course as well so you can go through that contact number reach out to us and we'll be uh, happy to guide you through the overall process for your upcoming preparation all the best for your examination kp classes dedicated to excellence